Hello everyone, uh, there's been a new update to Simicraft today, it's for Minecraft 164 for a start and it's got quite a lot of uh, new stuff so I'm just going to go through it, uh, all the new stuff uh, in this video. And sorry about the rain, it just, it's one of those worlds where it rains all the time and uh, it won't stop. <laughs> So the first thing is to do with the windmills. It's now um, got a proper recipe for the base instead of the, the cheap recipe. So it's something you can't get first day really. You do need like lots of new stuff. You can also uh, change the uh, the colour of the sails to any of the 16 colours just by using the appropriate uh, coloured wool. So I'll just show you that how you build the new windmill. These are all the ingredients that you need to build a windmill now. As you can see, it's, it's quite quite a bit more expensive than before. So we'll just grab all these things. So the recipe for the sails haven't changed, only that you can now have uh, any of the 16 colours uh, just by using the appropriate wall. So uh, I'll just do some green ones. And they almost match as well. You can't just like uh, have a green and a pink and a yellow or something. It, it, it needs to be all the same colour. So there we've got some green sails. Now for the uh, the base itself, that's a bit more complicated again. You need seven uh, composite bricks, which is a new block I've, I've added. And the way you make those is with some hardened clay. That's that's new in 1.6, I think. Uh, you just get some clay blocks and put it into a furnace, and you get this kind of reddish uh, hardened clay. So I need seven of these. I can't count. And seven stone. And seven iron bars. So that's quite expensive in the, the fact that you've got to have the. Uh, you'll need six iron ingots just to make, well, 16 iron bars, but you only need seven. <laughs> so that makes um, these new bricks, these composite bricks, just need seven of those. You can use these to, for building as well. It's like stone, only a bit tougher, and you can it can survive a creeper explosion possibly if it's not not too close so it's just a, a stronger stronger version of stone really so once you've got the seven composite bricks it's the same pattern as before just like that and that gets the windmill base you know it's got notice it's got the reddish tint as well and then same as before you just uh, make the windmill like that only that's a, a color windmill instead of just a plain white one so I'll just place that down somewhere nice. There we go, green windmill. It works just the same as before. Nothing else has changed in that in that way. Just now you can have a bit of uh, bit of colour to them. So something new I've added is a new building, a, a clinic. Um, now this is just just for her basically pregnant ladies at the moment. Uh, on day nine of their pregnancy, they, they just used to have their baby in the, in the street, um, on a rooftop next to a lava pit, <laughs> just anywhere really. I think there was one on, on top of a tree once uh, as well, so you may have seen that happen in your world as well. So on day nine, what they'll now do is uh, they'll look for a clinic in town. If there isn't one, they'll just... Uh, have the baby next to a lava pit or something but if you have got one they'll rush to this building and come through here and have the baby nice and safe in a, in a clinic they'll also hang around for the rest of the day here as well just to just to recover um, but there's no jobs with this um, building at the moment so you can't go and employ anybody uh, but later we'll be adding a doctor or something just uh, because it'd be like uh, d diseases and illnesses that the folks can get. Simple, uh, funny ones there. Not nothing serious. <laughs> so that's the clinic. You can uh, you can find it in under the commercial uh, buildings section, and it's fairly cheap to build. Just a bit of stone and stone brick. Just one thing though, you should build it uh, one down in the ground because it does come with this dirt layer. So you just place the constructor box one in the ground. 
So I've also added a few new buildings as well, and they're all sort of related to each other. Um, you sort of need one to, to make the other one work. Uh, kind of builds a, a supply chain of, of products that you can uh, sell to the folks as food. So I'll, sh I'll show you those now. So the first one is the uh, dairy farm. You can see here it looks more or less just like a uh, cattle farm, only instead of uh, getting murdered <laughs> they'll get milked instead. So it produces just the uh, the regular vanilla milk and the, uh, the farmer milking Xyla the cow at the moment. I think that one's Xyla. And you'll you'll milk the cows and place the milk into the chest, just like the just like all the other farms really. So you might be wondering what what you need all the milk for. Uh, there's there's not that much uses for it in in vanilla Minecraft, just a few. But uh, in Simicraft you need lots of milk for the next building. So the next building is the uh, cheese factory. So let's just take a look inside here. So what this building will do is uh, employ one person. They'll come and fetch the uh, the milk from the dairy and bring it in here and turn it into cheese, actual cheese blocks. Um, you can see here this is the tank. This is the tank where the milk gets poured and a couple of vats either side. The milk will flow into here and, and, and uh, cheese will start to form. So I'll just tie somebody. Hire cheese maker and Jed. So the first thing he does is goes to collect the milk, which is just over here. He could have walked. <laughs> so he's collecting as much milk as he can, and then he'll beam back over here and to fill the tank up. So you've got 27 buckets of milk, and you can see the milk going in there. Uh, this tank will only hold uh, 16 buckets, so it'll just store the uh, the surplus uh, for next time if, just in case there's a, a shortage of milk one time we can just dip into the surplus so he's got about 16 17 left right he's filled the tank now he's off down the side of the building here back into the main room excuse me so he's opened the shutters and the milk's now flowing in, giving it a good stir. <laughs> and he's adding the top secret ingredients. Not even I know what that is. It's uh, they, they just won't tell me what what the uh, what the secret ingredient is. But uh, yeah, it makes uh, makes nice cheese anyway. And there you go first block of cheese is formed so you, c you can take this out yourself um, you can make a it's actual building block it's a very soft building block though so not a very sturdy house um, and then it just goes around the other side and then just does the same process again and using up this this milk all the uh, the cheese blocks form throughout the day and there we go another another cheese block is formed so it will do this um, process um, throughout the day. Uh, about mid-afternoon, it'll shut the uh, the sh milk shutters and collect all the cheese that's formed. So once he's got all the uh, the cheese blocks, he'll take them over to here, slice them up, and drop them in here. You see, he's put the surplus milk in that he got from yesterday, and there's uh, nine cheese slices. And that he got yesterday as well and the cheese slices will craft back into if I can find a handy crafting table you can you can actually craft them back into um, the cheese block so you can build it again or do it the other way around I'll just put that back so that's the cheese factory um, you can actually eat the cheese and feed the folks with it um, but its main purpose is for the next building so the next building is Simu Burgers, a fast food store. Uh, they currently have several things on the recipe, but obviously it depends on um, what kind of ingredients you can supply to them. So this is the main room, and uh, out back there's a kind of a kiddies play area, brightly coloured. The main counter here, where the food is served, and then back here is the kitchen. So all the uh, the ingredients get put into this chest at the back here, 
um, and the fry cook will stand here and, and uh, cook the stuff and put it into this one. So the first thing you want to do is employ some staff. Now with this building there's this three um, staff that you can hire. The, the manager will collect various things from around the world and bring them back uh, various ingredients for the for everything. Uh, the fry cook will obviously fry it all up and make the meal and the waiter will serve it to all the customers and the folks and you can help yourself as well. So just to hire a manager first I'll just choose Jim. So Jim will beam in and he's looking forward to tomorrow and just hang around at the store for a minute and then he'll just zip off to anywhere that's available like the cheese factory he'll pick up cheese from there um, if you've got a grocery he'll pick up potatoes if, if they've got any and if they've got a bakery he'll pick up bread for the buns and you'll need a cattle farm and a butcher's to pick up the uh, the raw beef so he'll zip around all the world um, finding all the ingredients he can and they'll only cook as he's on his way to the cheese factory at the moment so they'll only cook stuff if they've got the ingredients so while he does that I'll employ the next person, the, the fry cook Mary she again beams in and goes and stands over there in the kitchen so yeah she'll basically look in here and see what she can make out of that which is quite a lot really. No cheeseburgers yet because the cheese hasn't arrived but so you can make fries and hamburgers from that so probably make cheeseburgers a bit later on. So you can see here yesterday's um, stock we've got uh, three hamburgers there and three fries so this is food that uh, both the player and the folks can eat. So while he's busy cooking up some more fries I'll hire the third person, the waiter, Trish Butts. <laughs> mm, those burgers smell lovely. They do indeed, I can smell them from here. So she'll serve all the customers, the folks will pop in from time to time and of course you can just help yourself as well, but don't take too many. <laughs> so that's the, uh, the fast food store, uh, a neat way to uh, feed everyone and mm, provide provide some uh, food and some jobs for the folks. You see the manager's back now from the store and he's, he's going to drop those uh, the cheese into there. There we go. Four cheese. So it's now the fry cook will be able to cook uh, cheeseburgers as well. Cheeseburgers for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Indeed. So that's all the new additions. Um, it's not something you'd probably build on like the first day of a new world because uh, it does rely on lots of other buildings like the bakery, the wheat farm, cattle farm, butchers. So you kind of need all these in place um, to make it all work. And finally there's uh, been quite a few bug fixes as well because there uh, lots of new stuff been added in the, the previous version. A few little things went wrong but uh, they, they should be all fixed now. So that's all the new features. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy playing Simicraft. <laughs>